Hi everyone! In this video I will explain how to do area export for your ERP data. For this we're going to use the same data set as I used before in this series. It's the uh, data set where four-year-olds are looking at uh, different pictures. So we have neutral pictures, pleasant pictures and unpleasant pictures. We're now looking at the response, uh, the grand average response of uh, neutral pictures. So this is the um, averaged over all participants. So what we want to export for now, we want to export um, the area under this uh, nice peak that is kind of from 200 to 700 milliseconds. Um, so that's the time window that we want to export this area uh, in. And um, we want to export that from every participant. So what we want to do now, I will explain first what we're exactly going to export. So here's an analysis tree of one of the participants, and um, we want to export these ends of this uh, data set. So we already segmented in the different, uh, different um, types of data. So this is the segmentation for the neutral, for the unpleasant and for the pleasant pictures. And what we want to do now in this example is export information from uh, for every participant of the neutral pictures. So if you click on it, you see the response of this one participant, two neutral pictures for every electrode. And I want to export all of these electrodes and I want to have the response of this uh, specific participant. Okay, so what you're going to do is click on export, then you go to area information, then you get this window where you can specify a bunch of things. So we're going to start over here in this corner. So first you need to pick between time domain and frequency domain. So because we want to export an area over a certain time domain, we're going to pick this one because we have a certain time window that we want to fill out. So I already filled it out. It's 200 uh, till 700 milliseconds. Then um, you have to fill out the uh, name or names of the data sets or history nodes that you want to export. Um, and that refers to these names that you have given to the ends of your uh, analysis tree. Sometimes I call these the leaves. Um, and this is also why it's very helpful to give it smart names, uh, because then it will be much easier to recognize and remember what you have to put in here. So I call them uh, neutral for the neutral uh, picture. And then what you need to do next is to select those uh, files that you want to have data exported from. So usually I would just export all, and um, and that might take a while sometimes, depending on the, how fast your computer is. So for now, I will just select this participant, and we're going to export data only from this, exp uh, from this participant and only from the neutral uh, picture. Okay, then we're going to look over here. So I have selected override default decimal symbol, and that's because I work with the European version of SPSS, and there it can get mixed up with the comma and the point. So I have to select this. Then I select it use voltage because I want signed values, so negative and uh, positive areas. Um, you can also select unsigned, but um, sometimes, especially here, if you have a very uh, profound uh, peak, this peak is clearly going in one direction, so then it doesn't really matter, but sometimes it can matter. Then the export type, you can have either the whole area and that will be very high numbers, um, or you can have the mean activity over this area. I usually go for the mean activity. Then here you can see the output folder, and the output folder you already have predefined uh, in your workspace information, uh, but it gets repeated here, so you can get mixed up of where your uh, output file will be located. Then you have to give it a smart name, so you can find it back, especially if you export a bunch of things, it will be helpful to give this uh, a good name. So for us, it will be LPP and then the neutral condition. Okay, then we're going to export. So we press OK, and then it's going to think. And obviously, because I only have one participant, this was very fast. So now we have a summary of what we did. Um, I always recommend people to save this log. So if you are really working on your a research project, it's very helpful to every time that you do this is to save this log so you can look back at what you especially what you specifically did. So now I'm going to close 
and I'm going to the folder that I already have here um, where we can find, here it is, our data set. So uh, this is the data set. It's always exported in text. And what you can see here is the um, participant, case 552. If you have multiple participants, they will be summarized uh, beneath each other with uh, the data in every uh, line. And here you can see every electrode that was uh, selected by me with the um, corresponding area, mean area, uh, under the curve. Yes, okay, and in the, in the next video or in the final video of this series, I will explain how to go from this exported file to SPSS.